This presentation is about metallocene catalysts. Metallocene catalysts were discovered in the 1950s, but it was not until more than 20 years later that the technology was developed allowing the economical large-scale production of metallocene polyolefins. In the late 1970s, Sin and Kaminsky combined metallocene catalysts with methyl MAO, which enhances the activity by a factor of 10,000. Metallocene catalysts are single-side catalysts consistent of minute particles of positively charged metal ions sandwiched between two cyclopentadienyl anions. Only a few metallocene anions are known. The most famous example is ferrocenium, which is made from cyclopentadienide ions reaction with iron two ions to give the iron sandwich. Another example is the metal zirconium sandwiched with cyclopentadienide ions. However, since zirconium has a charge of plus four and the anions only have a negative one each, to balance the charge, the zirconium bonds with two chloride ions, with a minus one charge on each, to give a neutral compound, giving a bischlorocirconosine, also known as zirconosine dichloride. This metallocene combined with methylalumoxane is a homogeneous catalyst used in the Ziegler nata polymerization of olefins. Here's an example. As said before, MAO is added to help the zirconosine complex catalyze a polymer polymerization. MAO needs to be at almost a thousand times the amount of the catalyst. The role of MAO is to replace the chlorines of the zirconosine with methyl groups. This leaves a positively charged zirconium. However, the positively charged zirconium is stabilized by an alpha agostic association. The zirconium is lacking in electrons, so an alkene is added, sharing a pair from their double bond. This stabilizes the zirconium, then the electrons in the zirconium methyl carbon bond shift to form a bond between the methyl carbon and one of the ethylene carbon. Meanwhile, the electron pair that had been forming the alkene metal complex shifts to form an outright bond between the zirconium and one of the alkene carbons, leading the zirconium to end up just like it started, lacking a ligand, but with an agostic association with a CH bond from the alkene monomer. Being back where we started, another alkene monomer can come along and react just like the first one did. The alkene coordinates with zirconium, then the electrons shuffle. When we're done, a second alkene monomer has been added to the chain, following this creates a polymer. Depending on the zirconosine, the product can end up being isotactic, syndiotactic, or anatactic polymer, or even a mix. We care about these long chains of ethylene because, for example, polypropylene and polyethylene are thermoplastic polymers that have a large range of applications, both in plastic material and fiber.